Hello guys, I'm Juan Felipe and welcome back to another video. So a couple weeks ago I posted a video about me building my first ever custom PC and I went for the super popular build uh, with NVIDIA GTX 1660 Super and the Ryzen 5 3600. The thing is that I built this PC almost at the same time when NVIDIA and AMD were announcing the new generation of their components. The fifth generation of AMD processors and the 3000 NVIDIA graphics card. And with this in mind, the question is if it's worth it to build this PC in 2021. And in this video, I will try to answer that with my experience so far. Spoiler alert, it is worth it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel guys, as also to leave a comment below on your thoughts. I will leave the chapters on the description so you can jump in the section you are more interested, as well as the rest of the build so you can know exactly what I'm talking about. So let's get into it. First thing first, let's keep in mind what I use this build for, so you can know exactly where did I get my experience to tell you this. So, I use this PC mainly for content creation. That's why programs like Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Illustrator and the whole Adobe platform were a must when I started building the PC. I also get some gaming on it. I try to squeeze at least one hour per day out of my time to get some proper gaming. But to be honest, with all this work, I can get more than that. And finally, media consumption. This is not a huge deal, it is more related to the monitor, and I may be making a video about it pretty soon. So now, content creation. This is what I use the PC for the most, and I will start with video editing and Premiere Pro. The device I use to record these videos and my YouTube channel is the OnePlus 6T. Not a great camera, but it can record at 4K, and those files are the ones that I use into Premiere Pro which could be really demanding and it handles it pretty well. Maybe it can have some crappy playback if the project is too big and you have too many effects on it, but at the end I will use proxies anyways. And I will do it even if I have a more capable build, just to not push the hardware that much. Usually 1080p or even 720 are more than enough to work for me. About rendering time, I just don't care. Really, it's not that important for me how much it takes to render a video or a final project. And if you're not in a rush, it should not bother you at all. Every time I finish a project, I just let it render in the background and use the PC for a lighter work like writing or maybe watching some videos. So that's not a problem or a deal breaker for me at all. For the rest of the Adobe apps, I had absolutely no problems at all. And it's not like I use them all the time like Premiere, but the moments I have tried them, I had no lag, no cracking, no problems at all. The only one may be After Effects that I try sometimes, and depending how heavy is the project you're working on, it might have some issues, but I've tried 3D tracking on 4K footage and it handles it pretty well. So far, so good. Now let's talk about gaming, which is the part I think most of you guys are more interested. Like I said before, this PC is more for casual gaming in my case, but as far as I know, the 1660 Super is capable of from high demanding games with no problems or issues at all. Maybe not at the highest presets, but at a great, great quality. And I have even watched some gameplay with 1440p resolution. Anyways, this is something you will get to see better if I show you some benchmark and gaming.
No hay desfibrilador que le salve. Todo depende de mí. Voy a ponerme la armadura. Si vas a hacerlo, hazlo ya. Mandemos a esa salimaña. Andar toqueteando el equipo de los Rangers, mamá te mata, fijo. Oh. Ah. Ah. Solo. Voy para allá. Oye, Walker, mueve el cubo. Mamá Sargento te necesita en el patio. Who? Dave, send a pulse and let's see what we're dealing with. Ah, there they are. All right, let's take him out. Get in the cover! Let's see what we're dealing with. How do you want to do this? Ah, there they are. Okay, let's put him down. Get in the cover.
As you can see, I can play high demanding and recent games. I'm using Game Pass to get the games and the benchmark and the gameplay, so sorry if I have no Cyberpunk, but as far as I know, this can handle it pretty well. But if you're really interested in the capabilities of this build, I recommend you to go to a page called gamedebate.com where you can see the performance of the build with any games you want and you can check if the build is capable of running it like for example Red Dead Redemption, Assassin's Creed, Metro and any other game you want let me know in the comments if you want me to check a specific game and I will try to get it and post a video with some gameplay at the end guys this is one of the most popular builds of the past generation and there is a good reason about it. This build is a beast regarding the price performance ratio and you can get a really good PC with a little money. But yes, the new generation is on the board so you may consider getting the 3060 GPU or the Ryzen 5 5th generation. But in the meantime, if you're on a budget like me, this build will be something to consider even in 2021 and even more with the pandemic getting the prices higher like a crazy. You will be able to play recent games with no problems and at a great performance and quality. So that's it for me, remember you have the whole bill in the description so you can check it out. Do not forget to like this video, leave a comment on your thoughts and subscribe to the channel as that really helps. You can also follow me on Instagram for more content. Nothing more to say guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next opportunity.